YouTube, what it do, baby? We are back with another video. Hopefully, everybody's having an amazing day or night. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below or at least drop a like for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm going to be making videos a little bit towards this type of style instead of just gameplays all the time. And right now, Warzone's in not a good state. I think a lot of people would agree with me, but I'm going to give you guys the best loadout, a lot more tips and tricks videos, how to videos um you know best spots but best jump spots all that type of stuff how to inc uh, have better accuracy um have how to have better movement best settings i'm going to be coming at uh coming to you guys with that type of videos here in the near future instead of just the best class subs every single day or every other day so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that if you do like that idea make sure to you know hit that subscribe button down below for me so you guys don't miss any of them so today's video we're going to be covering the top five smgs here in Warzone Rebirth Island, or whichever mode you are playing right now. Uh, but we're going to cover those. We're going to go through the class stuff for you guys and let you know what to rock with them, man. So let's hop into it. So for the first SMG, and these are in no particular order. Um, these are just the top five. So whatever ones you guys like, um, I'm seeing a lot of people run these. So anyway, man, let's start with this MP40 from Vanguard. Uh, probably my favorite right now, right in front of the OTS, uh, which is still amazing. That will be in here, uh, here in a little bit. So... For this MP40, we are running the recoil booster for the muzzle, the Krausnik 317mm 04B barrel, the Krausnik ISO 1M for the optic, which is an iron sight, and it, I believe it makes it have faster ADS, so it's, it's perfect, and I love the iron sight. I have removed stock for the stock attachment. Sorry, you can't see it. My face cam's in the way, but remove stock for that. Steady for perk 1, which is ADS firing speed. A quick for perk 2, which fits the SMG category perfect to run around a little bit faster. Hatch for the rear grip. So hatch is accuracy and horizontal recoil control. Um, the 7.62 45 round mag. Incinerary ammunition. That's what makes it overpowered. And then we have the M1941 hand stop under barrel. There are lots of different attachments that you can run, but I find this very comfortable to me. And it tends to go crazy in Rebirth Island and Warzone. So give it a go. Let me know what you guys think. That is the MP40. For the next SMG. We are revisiting this Black Ops Cold War Bullfrog, which really is so good still. It's, it's so good. So for the muzzle, we're running the Groove Suppressor, which is sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, effective damage range. And we're going all the way over to the stock, which we are running the KGB Skeletal Stock, which is basically sprint to fire time and movement speed, which is key for an SMG. And for the rear grip, we have the Serpent Wrap, which is better ADS speed. And I fell in love with that Serpent Wrap when I started running it on the OTS a few months ago. So I tend to put this on most of my SMGs now. And for the magazine, we're running the 65 round mag. If you wanted to go for the 85 round, you could. But I just feel like 65 rounds is enough to wipe a squad um, if you hit your shots. So then for the last one, we have Bruiser Grip, which is just better movement speed and hip fire accuracy. But basically, this, this SMG has very good mobility control, all that good stuff. And it's just been a very good SMG throughout the... I guess, since it's been in the game. So that is the Bullfrog, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to be moving on to the OTS. Yes, it's still very, 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 very good. Okay, I love rocking this. Um, they did nerf it, and a lot of people went away from it, but it's still I still see it used now to this day, and it still shreds. A um, little bit different recoil, but you got once you figure it out, you'll be just fine. They're running the Groove Suppressor for the muzzle, the 8.1 Task Force for the barrel, uh, the KGB Skeletal Stock for the stock attachment, Serpent wrap uh, for the rear grip, and then we're running the VDV 40 round fast mag. So this gun, like I said, is still, it's not, I wouldn't say it's meta anymore, but you could put it up there for top two, top, you know, probably top two SMGs right now, maybe top three. Um, so if you get good with it, you know, you're going to shred lobbies with it as well. So that is the OTS. The next one on my list, we have the space flight, or the, the, we have the Cold War MP5. This is space flight variant, excuse me, uh, but this is the Cold War MP5. So for this build, this thing is still amazing, guys. And you guys know the iron sights are amazing on this Cold War MP5. We're running the agency suppressor for the muzzle. Go all the way over to the stock. We are running the Raider stock, which is best better movement speed for an SMG. We have Serpent Wrap for the rear grip. We have the Stanag 50 round drum for the magazine. And we have Bruiser Grip. If you guys like uh, and feel comfortable with something else, you can always go with it. Like if you want to take Serpent Wrap off, and maybe put on the, the laser that Tiger Team Spot that makes you have better movement speed, Task Force Barrel. You can, but I just prefer this build. And I think you guys try this out. You would absolutely love it as well. So that is the Cold War MP5. Okay, we'll have some nominations at the end. But this is what I had to go with with my last one. And that is the Modern Warfare MP5 as well. 
This thing absolutely melts, guys. And you can run it multiple ways. I'll give you the regular build right here. And you, as you guys know, you can also run it as a hit fire build. But this build right here is very good, especially in Rebirth Island. And like, like I said, hit fire build is amazing as well. So you can run it two different ways. I think that makes it put it at the top of the list as well. So we're in the monolithic integral suppressor for the barrel. The FTAC collapsible stock, uh, which is the best stock, I believe. I think everybody knows that. We have slide of hand for the perk. Okay, that is the only thing different. Just because uh, Modern Warfare weapons have the sleight of hand um, availability, I think running this in Rebirth Island, is, that's what I play the most, is crucial just because there's lots, you know, lots of engagements, lots of gunfights. So the sleight of hand perk, very, very good. Um, you do not have to run that, though. Like I said, if you wanted a different, if you wanted the 5MW laser for hip fire, you could do that as well. Uh, running the 45 round mag uh, for this weapon, and then running the Merc for grip. So this is the class setup I have for this MP5. I just dropped 20 with it the other day in a sweat fest lobby. My lobbies have been a 1.3 to like a 1.75 average KD for the past two weeks. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's been a struggle to get gameplays. I'm not going to lie. That's another reason why I'm tending to these type of videos. Um, but it's been a sweat fest, guys. It's like a struggle for me to drop 20 when I used to do it four or five, six, seven times a night with ease. But right now it's hard to get one. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if I'm shadow banned or whatever, but uh, crazy stuff, man. But these uh, gameplays, I think you guys are going to enjoy more of these videos just because I, I think it's more informational for you guys and it gives you a lot more, you know, things to look at and different things to do or uh, different things to try. So th this is the top five. So I do have a couple honorable mentions. Okay, I would go with the Mac 10. Okay, the Mac 10 um, is another good weapon that you can run. And, you know, I like the, there's different styles of SMGs. I could go with the Milano for long range, which is still very, very good. Um, if you guys haven't checked my Facebook out, make sure to go check that out, um, Roadkill. Um, I have a Milano build on there for long range. It's still amazing. Uh, so we got that. We got the Milano. Uh, we got the MAC-10. Okay, there's several good things. And you guys know the ARs can be ran as an SMG as well, but I don't want to put that into the category. I'm going to be having the best top five AR builds as well. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below what is your favorite weapon or what's your favorite smg to run right now and what is that build i'm gonna give it a go maybe make a video of subscribe or subscriber uh gameplays with your class setup i think that'd be an awesome thing to do on the channel as well but yeah man hopefully you guys enjoy it let me know what class setup you go you're going to rock from this list i gave you but yeah man have a great day smash the like hit the subscribe button down below catch you in the next one peace